I did another three day fast. Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Shanti with Shanti Speaks and I just want to share with you guys just my experience after a second three-day fast and why I did another three-day fast and just kind of like what my plans are going forward. Stay tuned. Okay, so... I decided to do another three day water fast um, for several reasons. Um, the first reason was because after my first three day water fast, um, I really did not find it challenging for me to do it. And I really liked how I felt while I did it. And I also just like really enjoyed the results that came out of it for mental clarity, spiritual growth, um, physical, um, my physical appearance, all of those things were just amazing. So I decided, okay, I can do another one. Um, the other reason why I decided to do another three day water fast was because, um, shortly after I did my first three day water fast. And if you haven't seen my, um, first three day water fast, I really go into detail. I'll have it linked up here somewhere. I don't know. Um, definitely go check that out and see um, how things went for me if you haven't seen it yet. I decided to do it because shortly after um, I completed that three-day water fast, my daughter ended up getting sick and having to go into the hospital and I was totally focused on just her health and well-being and of course as moms what we do we forget about ourselves. So I just kind of like was not thinking about um, eating properly or focusing on what I was eating or any of that or even being mindful. Um, we fasted during our surgery times but shortly after our surgery finished we went back to eating just kind of crappy. So I needed to hit the reset button again and for me I'm okay with having to continuously hit the reset button. It's just a matter of me if I don't learn from what I'm doing is where my problem would lie. If I just keep doing the same thing over and over again and never learning from it, then I'm not really gaining anything from the experiences that I'm doing. But because I'm seeing results in my body, I'm seeing results as far as my physical abilities, my mental clarity, just my spiritual growth, and just how I'm, con I'm connected with myself from doing these three-day fasts. I'm fine with them. Yes, I do plan on doing a, an extended one. I'm trying, like I said in the last video, I want to get up to maybe a five day, seven, 14, 17, 14, 21, maybe even a 30 day. I don't know, but I'm taking it slowly because I'm not in a rush to lose weight, but I do know that I need to get healthy and I don't do the fast that I do just for my weight loss. They are very, very beneficial to my weight loss, but I don't do them for that reason solely. So, um, but I do like how I feel after I do them because it takes care of the overall me. I feel energetic. I feel like I can go for long periods of time, but because I'm so used to eating, I decide, oh no, I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I'm good. So, um, this video may be a little bit of a TMI. Um, type of video so if you're squeamish about when you're talking about different things and as far as like uh, results then I'd say click off now don't watch anymore because I'm gonna tell you the real nitty-gritty I'm gonna get straight to the point be all the way 100 with y'all and tell y'all how what happened what did I do different this time when I refed and just like what my plans are for going forward when I do decide to do an extended one. So um, I did the three day water fast last week and I did it from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of the week. Um, I wanted to kind of like end the fast on Friday and kind of roll into the weekend and then start back up a totally different lifestyle change. When I refed this time, I decided, okay, I'm gonna try this um, watermelon and, uh, 
fruit based refeed. Um, so, like I said, I started on Tuesday. Uh, it was actually Monday night at 9 p.m. And I broke my fast on Thursday night at 9 p.m. So I fasted all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, and up to 9 o'clock on Thursday. The mistake I made, my first thing I put in my mouth, because I saw them on the bed, were two Starbursts. Like, that was like, why would I do that? But... I told you I'm gonna be honest about everything I do. I'm gonna, you know, tell you all what happens, the gains and all of that. But um, yeah, two starbursts. I had that at nine o'clock. Like it was like nine thirty ish, ten o'clock when I had them, and then I went to bed Thursday. Um, I woke up Friday morning, and my stomach was a little bit on the rumbly side. Um, like my body was trying to process the sugar I had just put into it. It was a small amount of sugar because y'all know how big Starbursts are about that big, I want to say, but two of them. And it was just the fact that my body had had only water for the last 72 hours. And I think it's 74, 24 times three. Yeah. So, sorry. So my body had only had water for the last three days. And I in the, I started off putting sugar, processed sugar, or whatever it's called, back into my mouth as my first thing in my mouth. So, needless to say, it didn't turn out well for me when I did that. Um, on Friday, I was like, okay, well, they were just two little bitty starbursts. They shouldn't have, like, that much of an effect on me. You know, I'll be fine. So, um, at about noon i still woke up each morning drinking my apple cider vinegar and water and maybe some lemon juice in there if i wanted that and i drank a gallon of water a day um about noon on thursday no friday sorry noon on friday the day after the fast ended i had about mm, 400 grams so about i don't know three or four cups of grapes and I had that to break my fast with. And when I tell you, like, maybe an hour and a half, two hours later, it came through my body. It, like, it went in my mouth and came right out my bottom. And it wasn't, like, a normal solid type of bowel movement. It was the loose running one. And at times I didn't think I would make it to the restroom because... Um, of how quickly it went through my body. But the first time I did my refeed, I did it with bone broth and broccoli. That was the first meal I had, and I didn't have that symptom happen. Um, and then I think that's all I had that day. And then the next day I had, um, I think, something simple again, and then I finally decided to refeed myself. But this time around, I did it with fruit. So like I said, it went in sat for maybe an hour hour and a half maybe two i don't remember all i remember is that i almost didn't make it to the restroom a couple times and it wasn't pretty so i was like and then my stomach rumbled the entire time after that okay um so later that day um i still i felt like i needed something to eat i wasn't really hungry and i, I wasn't listening to my body again so I decided, okay, maybe I'll have maybe an apple and some peanut butter. Maybe that'll help to settle my stomach a little bit and um, help, you know, with my bowels and kind of to stiffen them up a little bit and not make them so loose and runny. So I had a green apple and a small red apple and I sliced them up and had a spoonful of peanut butter and I ate that and yeah, no, it didn't help. It came right through me too. Just ran right through me. And then, let's see, the last thing I had, ooh, for that day, oh, so at the end of the night, um, when I ate with my family for dinner, I had like a spoonful of spaghetti that I made the day before, and then I had a bowl of salad and a breadstick, and I said, I know if I eat this bread, then that will probably help to kind of like stiffen things back up and make it to where it's not that bad, and I'll be okay. It worked, but I felt like sluggish afterwards i didn't feel energized as i was throughout the day even with my stomach rumbling i still had the energy i needed but once i ate the carbs and the pasta and the bread and stuff like that it just like it like 
heavy on me and I felt the heaviness of that food so I was like did I just ruin everything I just did did I sacrifice three days worth of food to only go back to doing the same things that I was doing well needless to say eh, this is what today is Monday of the following week and um, as far as weight gain back, so I stopped, I ate on Friday, I ate on Saturday, I ate on Sunday, and I ate on Monday, I ate today. Um, the scale went back from, so I lost, oh, I did lose 10 pounds again. So the first time I lost 11, the first one, the first three day fast I did. This time I lost 10. But keep in mind that I gained back, I want to say, the 10 pounds over that month span. I gained those bags, so I was re-losing those 10 pounds. So, um, but after I refed, um, I only gained back, and it, like I said, today is Monday, I gained back, let's see, five of those pounds. So I lost technically a total of five pounds so far. Um, do I regret doing the three-day fast? No. Will I do more? Yes. Um, did, do I regret eating the foods I ate? Yeah. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going to keep pushing, keep going because I've got goals. I want to achieve them and I'm going to do what I got to do to get there. Um, my body responds to the fast and um, I I didn't record the whole process of this fast because I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with it because starting this fast back up was a struggle for me because I had been on the back eating for the entire month of May into June till you know just recently when I did the fast so it was like eh, I'm good I don't want to so I, I was beating myself up about whether or not I wanted to do it but or even follow through so I said I'll just record another one if I do another one this one I won't do it because I don't know if I'm going to even go to follow through with it to the end but I ended up making it through the three days the first day was the toughest um, I drank my water with no problem. The second day uh, was a lot easier. Day three was good, but I did, again, on day three, start to feel hungry again and things like that. Um, so that's probably why I had the Starburst. Because my mind went to, oh, it's day three. You get to eat again. Let's eat something type of mentality. I knew I did not want to try to eat spaghetti the night of day three end of day three because i know that would have probably messed me up even more so i just ate the starburst and dealt with that the next day do i think the starbursts are what caused my stomach to do what it did i don't know but i know i won't do that again um i know that the group that i follow um a healthy alternative and i'll link them in the description it's a youtube channel it talks a lot about um water fasting and another a healthy alternative to um getting physically mentally and emotionally fit um their website talks about refeeding with juicy fruits so watermelon and grapes and things like that so i um don't believe that those foods cause my bowels to be the way they were i think it was the sugar that i initially put in my body immediately after i ended my fast that caused my body to kind of like the way it did so yeah i think that's what happened it, i don't believe it was the fruits um so stay tuned i'm gonna update you guys either later in the week or first of next week on um, what my plans are as far as going forward with my weight loss and my health and fitness journey so yeah that's all i got today just wanted to kind of share y'all with you guys like kind of how things went and uh just talk about like my experience with my second three-day water fast Stay tuned. Some extended passes are coming your way. Thanks, loves. Be blessed and less stress. Johnson speaks.